All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our chart view. So what I'm going to do is uh, once again create a new file, and uh, I'm going to select Swift UI view this time. Click next. I'm going to create a chart view. Okay, and um, yeah. So now we're going to create a chart view. So this chart view is going to take three uh, three properties. So let's take values. Um, so you can supply int values. Um, we can ask for labels. So labels uh, that uh, we want to display. Uh, so we're gonna say this is of string type, and then x axis labels. Okay. So that's gonna be another array of string. All right. So these are like you know uh, some of the uh, some of the variables that we're gonna need, and uh, we're gonna start getting errors uh, in the preview section. So let's go ahead and create uh, these. So we're gonna create values, and I'm gonna just select some random data. So I'm just gonna say uh, this is the data, okay? And um, for the labels. I think we can say um, it's the same data. Uh, I'm gonna just make it as a string. Okay, and uh, then x axis values x x axis values we're gonna just uh, put some um, random days in here like that okay now for the missing part we can simply supply values labels and x axis values okay all right let me resume this section right here and collapse this okay so our preview is resumed and we can see our preview so now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna create uh, so first of all uh, we need to create draw a bar chart all right so we don't know like you know how the bar charts uh, uh, width and heights are going to be so we're going to leverage uh, geometry reader um, and uh, with geometry readers geometry proxy help we would be able to contain our uh, like determine the size of our container okay so we're going to have geometry reader and inside the geometry reader we're going to have an h stack with the alignment as bottom okay and then we're gonna have a for each loop. This for each is gonna go in uh, over the the values uh, that we have provided, and it's gonna go till the count, and it's gonna have the index. Okay, so we're gonna create that index, and uh, we're gonna say uh, now we need to calculate the max value of the um, of the index so we can actually determine the height so we're gonna say let max is equal to values dot max okay if there is nothing then then assign this value as zero now next thing we're gonna create our vertical stacks uh these are essentially our um, our bars right uh, the bar charts bar and uh, we're gonna say labels at index Okay, label set index. Um, we're gonna get the font to be as caption, rotation effect as uh, degree, negative 60 degrees. How is that how we're gonna display? Then we're gonna display a rounded rectangle with corner, corner radius, corner radius as five. All right, we're gonna fill this with. Uh, color dot orange maybe 
and uh, gonna give it a frame with width and height so width we're gonna just put it as 20 height we're gonna compute so alignment we don't need and you can see our bar is basically showing up there uh, but for the uh, height uh, we want to compute uh, because we want to normalize the values uh, that we are showing according to like you know the maximum height allowed here so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to first convert uh, our values at the index which is a um, integer value into cg float okay and then divide that by cg float of max okay and how uh, we are gonna times this with geo dot size dot height okay and uh, what we want to do is we only want to consider 60 percent so we're gonna say just take the 60 percent of that okay so i will let the um these guys uh let the canvas or preview catch up okay so now we're gonna have our text and this text is going to show the x axis label right at the index okay and the font is gonna be caption like so okay all right so there we go we have our uh, bar chart laid out and as you can see the values are normalized and distributed according to their uh, height so 3 is really small 30 is bigger than that and 435 is the biggest okay so 433 434 432 these are almost uh, standing at the same level so that means our uh, normalization code is actually working right so we're gonna define the frame our uh, frame is gonna have max width of infinity and max height of infinity okay and we're gonna have a background and background is gonna be color dot primary dot opacity of 0.2 so 20% of opacity corner radius is going to be 10 points and padding it's going to be bottom 20 points all right so let it catch up and there we go so our um, our view is sort of like you know central our graph is uh, ready to go so yeah so this is all it takes to create a graph in swift ui so now this chart is this bar chart is ready to be utilized and now reason we have created it this way where it takes values label and x-axis label because uh, it's not probably like you know something that you're going to use only in this app you might as well use it in another app so that's why we created this way where you can just apply the values and just get the get the chart out of that okay all right so next up we're gonna put this chart into a detail view and uh, we're gonna create like you know a chart view and the detail view and uh, display the data that we have gathered from the uh, health kit 